Ernest Nkosi is one of South Africa's promising filmmakers. With no state or private funding, Nkosi went on to film his first feature, The Two of Us, on a shoestring budget. It has since won several awards and is now part of the American festival scene. I made a feature film called uh, Tina Sobabizi. It did well in the international circuit, uh, won a couple of um, major awards, and now eventually releasing the film locally here. Yeah. It's a story between a brother and sister that live in Alex, and the sister falls in love with the sugar daddy, you know, and the brother tries to put an end to it. Other challenges black filmmaking newcomers face in the industry is access to funding. But Nkosi doesn't believe it should be a deterrent. Just get a camera and do it. Get a camera and do it. Don't wait for anyone. You'll be waiting forever. Lebohang Rasentaba is another filmmaker who didn't wait for funding. And after his five-year master's in film studies in China, Rasentaba has returned with a new film called The Future Sounds of Manzanzi. South African townships are, are not so dangerous. It's a film that uses music as a way of telling where we are 20 years after democracy. So uh, it's really a film that tells the stories of young, creative, multiracial South Africans using the, the means of production. The groove is thick and infectious, and we give ourselves to it. What we need to do as young South African filmmakers is tell stories of heroes that will inject a, self, a sense of self-belief. The National Film and Video Foundation, together with the Industrial Development Corporation, are aware of the struggles black filmmakers face. The incentives available now for black filmmakers are threefold. One, we've got incentives uh, that are offered by the Department of Trade and Industry. That is the first one, and that is a rebate of up to 50% of the qualifying spent budget. Secondly, is the incentive that we have partnered with the IDC, which makes available an amount up to 4.5 million rand for the production of a future film, and over and above that, 500,000 towards marketing and distribution of the feature film. This incentive also allows people to pursue their dreams and find talent in unconventional places. It's important for like any filmmaker who's struggling to get into this industry. I feel like we have stories that we want to tell, not only to like our community, to like abroad. It actually motivates me to to um, keep my dream of being, you know, an actress alive. This incentive that we have, it would definitely go a long way for us to tell our stories, to expose us, to put us on the right channels, and effectively just to put us out there. So I believe that the word has been spread, um, that the youth will be influenced in, in terms of seeing what's happening in town and one can be um, encouraged to, to act and all. Dreams come true only when you work hard. That's all I want. Nurturing these future black filmmakers will hopefully result in big productions and assist South Africa with new talent and creation of jobs. Julie Shire, CCTV, Johannesburg.